Hi everybody, it is Rashiki and today we're going to be giving you guys a tutorial on Melon DS and how to use a keyboard or use your inputs and as well as a controller like a PS4 or PS5 controller. First you will be needing a Melon DS emulator of course and based on the game you are playing we're going to need to learn how to do the input for your controller or keyboard and for certain games we're going to be doing either or the first thing you want to do is based on the game you're playing you go to system and you're going to go to excuse me yep you go to system configuration then you go into input you're going to go to you are going to go to input and hotkeys you're going to see this this little thing right here. So here's how it works. Based on what you want to use, either a controller or a keyboard, this is for joystick mapping. And joystick mapping has something to do with a PS4 controller or a controller that you use for your USB. For example, a PS4 controller. As you can see here, I already mapped this for Super Mario 64 DS because we're going to be playing that tonight with Francis the Fox. I want to explain how this works. You may be wondering, what are these buttons corresponding to? So, to first, in order to put a button on your keep controller, press on, click on the button you want to correspond with. For example, the L button. Click on this particular square and it's going to let you put a button in. For the controller, I put L1 or button 10. Now keep in mind the button numbers are corresponding to the number that is mapped onto the controller for that controller. For example, button 10 L1 is for the PS4 controller because it was mapped that way by Sony. The button numbers do not matter. What does matter, however, is what button you press it on. The so button 10 is my L1. R is going to be my R1. So R1, L1, LR in the DS. Now, the up, left, right, and down keys will correspond to the arrow keys on the Nintendo DS. Now, for Super Mario 64 DS in particular, I decided not to do the arrow keys. Instead, I used the analog stick, the left one, which is this guy right here. And the reason why is because when I played Super Mario 64, the original... We had the joystick. We had the little, this little stick, the little thing like this, the analog stick, the one that goes left, right, up, down, diagonal. So I decided to go with that. So I put button 12, which is going to be the analog stick on the PS4, the left one. So I go up, down, up, down, right, and left. So it's going to go up, down, left, right, or those numbers on the screen. Now when it comes to Y, X, A, B, or on the right side, I correspond it to exactly what it sounds like. I put square, so square, square will be my, my, my Y. Circle will be my A, X will be my B, and Triangle will be my X button from the Nintendo DS. So what about Start and Select? Start and Select, in terms of a PS4 controller, my Start button is going to be my Options button on PS4, and my Start button on the, on the PS4 is going to be my Share. So it's going to be... It's going to be options for, actually, excuse me, options for start, and, and my select button will be share, at least on a PS4 controller, so you can do that. 
and that is how you set it up for a controller based on the game that you're playing like for example super mario 64 ds i would go with the joystick the little analog puppy right here now how about keyboard keyboard is similar all you have to do is press this button switch to keyboard map and then you're going to be able to see the keyboard mapping now think of this as a way to see it now be very careful with keyboard mapping as this is going to be a little bit more tricky based on the game that you're playing okay now there's multiple ways to set this up based on the game that you're playing so everybody is used to for movement WASD when it comes to video games on PC so in that sense what you could do is you could put up for W right for D down is going to be S and left is A the W A W A S D for your movement up down left right for your X now keep in mind that you do need a Y X A B button for for like your stuff so in certain games you actually want to use the the arrow keys so like for Mario 64 I would actually recommend the regular arrow key or the keyboard if you're gonna do Mario 64 your your Y X A B can be like for example Z X X B and B for that matter but make sure you you map this the way you want it and you can always customize this at any time then we have start and select start to be enter or return your start oh, excuse me your start key should be return not select so this would be return and this would be shift left shift okay now keep in mind lr you should also map this as well i would use q and e or r e and then q is going to be l okay so keep in mind that this right here in the middle is your important part because that's most of your action your movement is going to be this your actions are going to be on the right now what about guitar hero so guitar hero is a little bit of a different game because you have a rhythm game it's a rhythm game and it's going to be based on which one you have so in guitar hero you had the the four the four colors right so usually green is is confirm red is cancel or b button so i would suggest if you're playing something like Guitar Hero on, on tour, that game, I'm actually going to give you content on that just to, to demonstrate keyboard, but not today. I would actually go either, um, I would go either Z, I mean Z, X, D, and V for like green, red, um, blue and or orange and blue in terms of Guitar Hero now keep in mind that is Guitar Hero logic here not Mario be very careful you, you can map this at any time you want during the game then let's go ahead and go into other stuff like the add-ons so but then if you have mappings for sunlight plus and sunlight map button you can also do that and general hotkeys for your regular um your regular emulation so pause resume restart frame stop fast forward fps limit toggle full screen close open lid microphone and swap screens that is up to you on how you want to um play with this but again 
I wouldn't I wouldn't touch this unless you absolutely know what they are for. This is mostly for those speedrunners who want to see like certain frames and all that good stuff. Okay? I would stay away from this unless you really know what you're doing because I don't want to mess you up just because of this tutorial. But basically I want to explain what these are. Pause resume is extremely simple. Reset, reset the game. Frame step is based on your frames. You want to frames you want to go forward a frame. Fast forward is gonna be fast forwarding. Toggle FPS limit is frames per second. So if a game is 60 frames per second and you want to toggle the limit of 60 frames per second, you can do that with that button. Toggle full screen, very regular, very simple. Toggle for full screen. Close open lid is like sleep mode. Microphone, if you are using multiplayer or you need a game, for example, um, Mario Luigi, one of the Mario Luigi games has a microphone. You can actually swap using a microphone, using a button. And swap screens means like to swap the top and bottom screen of the emulator. Now keep in mind, be very careful when using this stuff. I would only touch toggle full screen and microphone and reset if you're a speedrunner and all that good stuff because you want to reset the game because you messed up in a speedrun, for example. Okay, so that's controllers and all that good stuff. I, I highly suggest, however, not to use the keyboard mappings for the general hotkeys with the with the controller. I would do this with the keyboard. I would be very careful if I was you. Okay. So here's some tips on inputting your keyboard and your controller. And you have to be very careful based on the game. Think about the game you are playing. And think about it if you played it on the original console. For an original console, for example, Super Mario 64 originally came out for the Nintendo 64, and the and the original controller allowed you to use the joystick to move Mario. So when I did it on a controller, I said, you know what? Let me use the analog stick here. To do movement and stuff. So that's how I do movement and stuff. For Mario 64. A game like. Uh, let's say Guitar Hero. Instead of the controller. Because normally you have a guitar with you. For Guitar Hero. Or like a. Add on to the Nintendo DS. And you have the four buttons. But the four buttons are in a row. Like horizontal. On a keyboard. It's already horizontal for you, so all you have to do is tug the press the button corresponding to the color. And I'm going to give you guys a video on Guitar Hero, and particularly Guitar Hero on tour, of how I mapped my buttons for Melon DS in particular. So I'm going to give you guys a video on that another time, and then. As far as like general hotkeys, I recommend not to do a controller. I recommend you to do it with a keyboard to make sure you don't mess up a speedrun in the event that a speedrun is in, is in play here. Because if you mess up the speedrun, then it becomes invalid. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be a good speedrunner, and I want you to get a world record like mid flower power. Okay, I want to do, do that too, but it's going to be hard. But anyway, that is the tutorial for controllers and keyboards and controller input. If you have any questions, let me know. By the way, if you saw my tutorials from the past of the Melon DS, I'm actually planning a 2023 edition so that it's updated for 2023. So look out for that potentially. I might have another channel for that, but for now, it's going to stay on the RetroYuki channel. And speaking of Retro Yuki, this is him saying, don't forget to live life to the fullest, enjoy your retro games, and as always, live life to the fullest, have fun, entertain, don't complain.